Ron Howard reveals longtime wife Cheryl has been in everything. He confesses a shocking truth about his wife. Ron Howard takes a birthday walk with longtime wife Cheryl as he turns 70. Ron Howard is celebrating his 70th birthday with an early morning walk. Howard took to Twitter and shared a video of him and his wife Cheryl Howard acknowledging the scores of followers wishing the actor and filmmaker a happy birthday. I hey all, Cheryl and I are getting ready to go on our early morning walk, Ron said in the video, before Cheryl playfully added, he's 70, he just turned 70. He has mixed his personal life with his work since he was a teenager. Howard exclusively tells in a recent interview that he always sets aside a part for his wife Cheryl Howard in any film he's made since before he became an Academy Award-winning director. The conversation was surrounding the 40th anniversary of his classic romantic comedy splash, the Fish Out of Water G film starring Tom Hanks as Alan Bauer, a man who falls in love with a mermaid named Madison, famously played by Daryl Hannah. A Cheryl was there, and she makes her usual cameo in the movie, he says of Cheryl's appearance in Splash. She's been in everything that I've ever done since 11th grade in high school. The Happy Days star and Cheryl met in high school and have four children. She has credits in his films dating back to 1977. On IMDb, her credits start with the short Old Paint. Splash is her first official film credit, but she's also had roles in Grand Theft Auto, the first feature film Howard directed, along with his smash hits like Apollo 13 and the Oscar-winning A Beautiful Mind. In Splash, Alan's brother Freddie Bauer, John Candy, looks up her character's skirt when they're both guests at a wedding. Howard also reveals to people that the world has Cheryl and a few other women to thank for Splash's happy ending. The original script written by Bruce J. Friedman, Lowell Gans, and Howard's longtime business partner Brian Grazer, ends on the dock in New York after Alan accepts the fact that he's in love with a mermaid and helps Madison escape the facility where they had both been captured to be studied. He's aided in freeing Madison by his brother Freddie and Walter Kornbluth, Eugen Levy, the mad scientist who has a change of heart after he exposes Madison as a mermaid and captures the couple. Madison tells Alan that he could live with her and be safe in the ocean, but if he did he'd never be able to visit his brother on land again. Friedman, Gans, Grazer and Howard's vision of the ending saw Alan content with choosing his brother over his true love. But Cheryl and the other wives who read the Splash script in its later stages disagreed with the choice. It was really interesting because all of our wives read the script over a weekend and they all adamantly implored us to change that, Howard remembers. They didn't talk to one another, it was just a spontaneous alignment. We all listened to that and I was glad that we did, Howard adds. Alan jumps off the docks in the film's ending, helps Madison fight off villains, and swims happily ever after with her by his side. Ron shared, on Twitter when he turned 70. On his birthday, it happens to be my birthday today, and I picked up my phone and I noticed that on Twitter and X, a lot of well wishes. A lot of happy birthdays coming from you folks, Ron shared. They said it before me, Cheryl joked. Thank you, thank you for that, Ron told his followers. Uh, and as I contemplate my life here on my 70th birthday, I'm also reminded of how much support you've given me, my work. It's been a lifetime and I've loved it. I still love it. You've watched the shows old and new, the movies I've made, I hope you'll watch the movies I'm continuing to make and planning to make and the work coming out of Imagine Entertainment, it's really a joy to be able to live this life and do this work and thank you for supporting it over these years, he added. A we're off for a very long walk, Cheryl added, prompting Ron to laugh. A birthday walk, he said. Ron, a two-time Oscar winner for his 2001 film A Beautiful Mind, first met his wife Cheryl in high school in California. The pair married in 1975 and share four adult children, daughters Bryce Dallas, Jocelyn Carlyle and Paige Carlyle, as well as son Reed Cross. Their daughter Bryce Dallas, 42, recently shared on the Drew Barrymore show that Cheryl, an accomplished author, turned Ron down the first two times he proposed marriage. He proposed three times and she said no two of them, Bryce Dallas recalled on the show. Because she was like, I want to go to school first. I'm not ready to be on your train yet. She's really strong. Back in 2019, Ron told people about his romance with Cheryl, recalling that, I met her, and there was never anybody else. Ron began his career as a child actor on shows like The Andy Griffith Show and the beloved sitcom Happy Days. So viewers, please like this video and subscribe our channel, thanks for watching.